Welcome to the official generation old school YouTube channel. In this channel we post videos of old school cars and trucks. We meet with classic cars enthusiasts just like you to bring you the adventures you deserve. Not only we review each classic custom car in detail, but bring you the history and background of each vehicle. We also go on a street ride and test the vehicle's ability to perform above and beyond. If you like this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow us on social media at Generation Old School on Instagram. Good morning family and welcome to another video and this episode of Generation Old School we're going to be taking a close look at a 1950s Chevy Apache. This is one of my favorite trucks. It is owned by Chucksy. I'm going to be putting a link to his Instagram account down below so feel free to follow him and also if you like this video don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Let's go. What year is it? It's a 1959 Chevy Apache. It has a full custom uh, framework done. All engine was redone, brand new, brand new interior. 350. Small. Wow, that is nice. That is really nice. Fully done with a 350 transmission. Full custom frame. And the suspension you have, the suspension you have, um, Acura, no? No, I just, uh, I had the Acura, and unfortunately. I had to remove it because one of the sensors went bad. So oh really? I put this air ride that I have on it now. Which one is it? In order to be able to drive it. AVS. AVS. In order to be able to drive it. So Acura will go back on next week with E-Level. How long have you had it for? I bought it in November and I've been building it since. And I just finished building it last night at 6 o'clock. I really, really so like it. a lot of more work done, but I take them out like that just to enjoy them. What type of bed are you going to do in here? Are you going to do the same one over there? Yeah, like, the same uh, thing. All wood? wood? Yeah. That looks really nice. That looks really nice. Yeah, because this is always ugly. I mean, it's pretty sometimes, but it's always ugly. I, I really want to put the wood on it. Awesome, Bill. Congratulations, man. And here we have another Chevy Apache. And this one belongs to Chuck. Chuck, tell me a little bit about this one. I love this car, man. It's one of my favorite trucks on Instagram. Let me thank tell you, you, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, this truck is 1959 Chevy Apache uh, short bed. Um, original paint. Blade green, it's not cleared, uh, polished it to, to this finish that it has now. And uh, I found it in a warehouse in business in uh, New York and I always take the back roads and always take the long way to wherever I'm going on purpose. Nice. And I uh, stuck my head inside a warehouse and I thought I saw something. Tell me about the suspension. The suspension is, uh, it's the frame is a porter built frame. Um, suspension is uh, AccuAir and it has uh, right tech shocks. Um, so it's on air. The engine is a crate motor uh, Chevy 350. Did you clean it for the video or you always have it like that? Oh uh, no, it's always like that. All my stuff is always clean. Pretty Very much, nice. Man. I am kind of like that. Yeah, it has a lot of character. I like to call it character, you know, and, and I think that's what makes these trucks. The only thing I didn't leave original in here was the was the seat. Mm -hmm. The bench seat cover. And it's got that rear automatic original shifter. Wow, bro. Look at the details, man. Very nice, bro. So these are the new uh, shocks by Tricky. Uh, tricky air suspension. Uh -huh. It's a motorcycle air suspension company that now we kind of ventured together and we helped develop this thing for the beds um, 
people spend a lot of money on their on their work and on their frames and you know what a better way to display it by using these shocks yeah this is a company named Barton um, it's a company that made farm bumpers for GM they're big and ugly and to me I think they're beautiful so no, me too I put them on all my trucks I like that detail, the detail of the, of the toolbox too. So this is my rendition of a, of a board track racer, the contemporary one. Typically these 26-26 uh, 26, 26, uh, wheels were done back in the early 1900s and they used to race on a board track. So kind of put a board track, made a trailer for it, this trailer gets pulled by that green truck. Awesome. Um, and just, you know, I like, do like that patina look, so I patinaed it. And oh, and it matches the truck too. And it kind of matches, yeah. Yeah, the wheels were just, you know, from Craigslist, and that's the way they came. I didn't choose them, that's just what was on sale that day, and I grabbed it just to build this trailer, and it kind of plays with the color of the truck a little bit. Yeah, that's a cigar box from the 50s, batteries inside of it. Wow. This is an actual wrench, if you really take a look at it. Oh, you're right. And this is a fuel filter from a 64 Impala that I had. So just a bunch of little things. Do you drive this often? Um, whenever there's a bike meet or so, I'll, I'll go meet up with the guys, but um, I've done the, the big loop in Daytona, so it's definitely a rider and has air suspension as well. So I'll show you that. I'm gonna focus here. No. So you have airbags under the seat, so it's not really a, a hardtail ride. Very nice though. That looks amazing, bro. That looks amazing. Well, guys, I just had the pleasure to meet Chuck and Jay. Follow them on social media. They have two amazing Chevy Apaches that you guys are gonna love. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow us on social media at Generation Old School. And we'll see you guys on our next video. Adios.